How to annoy Sagittarius? Well, first of all, Sagittarius is a very idealistic sign. Whether the person has the moon, sun or ascendant in Sagittarius, they'll show those qualities. So it's very easy to annoy them if you start talking only about material and petty concerns, about daily routines, about survival, about finances. So focus on a lot of material and uh, practical issues only without allowing their thoughts to soar into higher, more higher minded and idealistic places. Every time they start talking about that, just just tell them, oh, you're a dreamer, you're unrealistic. Let's go back to, you know, let's talk about the most serious things. So complain about money a lot, about finances, how difficult life is. Be negative, be more pessimistic, especially when it comes to material things. Or just be overly materialistic, you know, just talking about uh, how much this costs or that costs. And you're very sure to tick them off quickly. Or a Sagittarius is a very expansive, open-minded and positive sign, which likes to have its mind onto the future onto some far away go and purpose so act the other way act like uh, always ne negative seeing the negative seeing see, seeing why life doesn't have meaning why things are purpose without a purpose and just downright depressed you know it's the surest way if you keep being negative to drive a Sagittarius away and to annoy them for them not to seek your company anymore. Or Sagittarius is a freedom-loving sign, so much as to if, if you're overly clingy, if you're all the time overly emotional, speaking about emotions, speaking about how you feel, speaking about uh, how you sensitive you are and hurt, they, they, you quickly annoy them. Actually, sensitive people don't fare very well around Sagittarius because Sagittarius are direct and, they, uh, and uh, what annoys them is people who are indirect, people who are ambiguous, people who never tell directly what they want, who are tip tiptoeing around the subject, who are beating around the bush. You know, this can also uh, annoy them and infuriate them quite easily. Um, so clinginess as well, or telling them you have to be home at this time, or calling them 10 times and ask them what they've been doing, and, uh, you know, not basically not having, not only trust, but totally wanting to possess them soul and body is the surest way or even if they're your friend being overly possessive wanting all the time their company it will annoy them they have to be left free to roam for them it's true the saying let the bird fly and if the bird loves it will come back so if you want to annoy them try and control them all the time uh, and try to you know to invade their space a lot and to give them limitations, to tell them what they have to do, to tell them what time they have to be here, back, or uh, not what to do. And also be, you know, Sagittarius uh, has uh, strong moral ideas and values, uh, belief system. And if you try to impose on them your own belief system and poo poo their own belief system, they, you annoy them. So you need to respect their opinions and what they say. So basically, don't contradict Sagittarius. Or if you want to annoy them, go for it, contradict them every time they say something you know what they think about an object what their opinion is um, undermine them and prove to them why they're not right so they quickly you'll quickly drive away such chairs if you keep doing that but if you put them like an authority figure like uh, uh, someone that you trust someone that uh, their opinion matters for you even if you don't do it then they'll be happy but we're talking about what annoys them so this is what you do you undermine their opinions and you disregard what they say and uh, you tell them what to do you tell them what is right and wrong you try and teach them what is right and wrong this will surely annoy them to no end um, absolutely and Sagittarius is also a sign which loves truth. So being double-faced in front of them is something that will annoy them so much. It's something that can drive them away. So uh, if they see you have like a double life or if, if you're being nice and sweet in front of them and then going and slagging them off uh, in front of others, they would again, it will be annoying for them. Or if you're very petty person who is all the time talking behind the backs of others, who is all the time criticizing others, who is all the time seeing the weaknesses of others uh, and bringing them up or the weakness or negative outcome of any situation or the negative um, points of any situation, Sagittarius will definitely, you know, will, will be annoyed with you and will try to avoid your company as much as possible. Um, and so take away their freedom, disrespect them, undermine their opinion, tell them what to do, tell them what's right and wrong, and uh, 
um, be super clingy to them and super emotional um, and basically do the same thing over and over and take them to a date take them to the same places order the same things never be adventurous you know uh, be super traditional yes this is something that can also you know really upset them it's all the time doing the same thing the same tried methods without you know without having any excitement any adventure Another way to annoy Sagittarius is to be totally affected and pretentious and, you know, like a damsel in distress or um, totally critical of everything. And particularly to be fake, you know, to, to not to behave really your natural self. And Sagittarius don't like that. Sagittarius is a very natural, truthful, honest sign. So they do not like to see another uh, hiding through social pretense, through um, social uh, etiquette as well, or overly, even overly made up with a lot of makeup or something that is not natural to them. So it's very easy to annoy them by being so pretentious and fake by behaving.